C2024 past paper solutions. Let's do section one. The first question reads, write the numeral for 230,563. Now, my recommendation for this, for those of you all who may have problems with this question, is to write your place values above. So the question says it's 230,000. So you can write hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. This is something you can do. So the answer is going to be 230,563. Very easy first question. Question two says to write the value, not place value. They want the value of the underlying digit. Again, you can write your place values here. This is ones, this is tens, this is hundreds, this is thousands, and this is tens of thousands. So the value of this five is going to be 5,000. If the question asks you for place value, then you would have written thousands. Question three says, a common factor of 15 and 18 is one. What other factor is common to 15 and 18? Now, when you're thinking of factors, you can think of the numbers you can multiply to give you 15. What can you multiply to give you 15? You can multiply three by five, or you can multiply one by 15. What can you multiply to give you 18? You can multiply one by 18. You can multiply three by six, or you could even multiply nine by two. So what is the common factor here? They have one in common. And in addition to that, they also have three in common. So three is going to be the other factor. Question four, write one of the following symbols in the box below to make the number sentence correct. We have the greater than sign, the equal to sign, and the less than sign. 8,693 is greater than 8,639. Question five, long division. We have nine into 927. So it's going to be nine into nine is one, nine into two is zero, and nine into 27 is three. So I'm going to do long division for some of you who may not be good at division yet. All right. So nine into nine is one. The steps in long division, you divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and you repeat. So it's going to be nine into nine is one. Nine ones are nine. You take away, you bring down. Nine into two is zero. And if you multiply nine by zero, you are going to get zero. Then you subtract. Two take away, zero is two. And then you bring down. Now you have to say nine into 27, and this is going to give us three. Nine threes are 27. So again, nine into 927, the answer is 103. Question six, seven take away two thirds. Well, if we are taking away two thirds from a whole, we're going to remain with one third. So if we're doing this mentally, it's going to be six and one third. But for those of you who can't see that, let us subtract. So seven is a whole number. So one is understood as its denominator. And we are taking away two thirds from this. The rule of thumb is when we are adding and subtracting fractions, we must have common denominators. If we don't have common denominators, we need to find the LCM. The LCM of one and three is three. One into three is three, and then seven threes are 21. Take away three into three is one, and one times two is two. And here we have 21, take away two, that is gonna give us 19 over three. This is an improper fraction, so we have to reduce it. So 3 into 19 is 6. 6 threes are 18 with a remainder of 1 over 3. For those of you who cannot do short division, you could do long division. You could say 3 into 19 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18, and you are going to get that remainder of 1. Question seven, write 0 0.40 as a fraction in its lowest terms. 0 0.40 is 40 over 100. How can we reduce this? This zero could cancel this zero, and we can say two into four is two, and two into 10 is five. So we have two fifths. Two fifths is our answer. 
Question 8 wants us to multiply 3.12 by 4. 2s are 8, 4 ones are 4, put back your point, 4 threes are 12. So we are getting 12.48. Question 9 wants us to find 15% of 300. When we are multiplying, we look for opportunities to reduce. So this 100 into 100 is 1, 100 into 300 is 3, 15 times 3 is 45. Question 10, an incomplete pattern is shown below. We have 36, 28, 21, 15, something, and 6. Well, we can clearly see here that the pattern is decreasing. So we're going to subtract the numbers that are close by to see how much it is decreasing by. So 36 take away 28 is going to give us 8. And then we have 28 take away 21 is going to give us 7. Are you all beginning to see the pattern? So first, 8 was subtracted from 36 to get 28. Now we are subtracting 7 from 28 to get 21. So now we will have to subtract 6 from 21 to get 15. And then we'll have to subtract 5 from 15 to get 10. And then we will subtract 4 from 10 to get 6. So the missing element there is 10. What is the length of the pencil shown? Well, it starts from 1.5, 1 1.5. So we can go from this point to this point. Here to here is 1. Here is 2. Here is 3. Here to here is 4. Five, six, seven, eight. So the answer is going to be eight centimeters. Question 12. Ada left home at 6.45 a.m. and arrived at school at 7.25 a.m. How long was his journey? So some students may be good at time and some may not be good with time. So I'm going to show you all two ways you can approach this. So you can say from 6.45 to 7 is 15 minutes. And then from 7 to 7.25, that is 25 minutes. So if you add 15 and 25, you're going to get 40 minutes. Another approach that you could have taken is to subtract 7.25, take away 6.45. And before you subtract time, you need to ask yourself, could 25 minutes subtract 45 minutes? No, it can't. So you're going to take an hour from here. You're going to remain with six. The hour that you're taking on this side, this side is hours. This side is minutes. So the hour that you're taking here is 60 minutes. So you're going to add 60 to 25, and you're going to get 85 minutes. So we have five take away five is zero. Eight take away four is four. And six take away six is zero. We are still getting 40 minutes. So any one of these approaches that you take, you will still get the same answer. Question 13. They want us to find the area of the shape, and it's a one centimeter grid. Okay, so let's check. Here's going to be one. Here is going to be two. Here is going to be three. Here is going to be four. And this is half of one. So it's going to be a half or 0. 0.5. So it's going to be 4.5. And across is one, two, three, four. So I understand that it may look like a square, but based on the measurements, it is not a square. So to find the area of the shape, we can multiply 4.5 by 4. 5 fours are 20, 4 fours are 16, and 2, 18. So we are getting the area to be 18 centimeters a square. Some of you all might have used this calculation or some of you all might have just checked it, all right? So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Two halves will be 17. Another half, this will be 18. So whether you checked it or whether you worked it via calculations, you'll still get the answer to be 18 centimeters square. Question 14, two packs of sugar are shown below. What is the difference in their masses? Well, one is 2.5 kg and one is 1,600 grams. So before we can find the difference, before we subtract to get the difference, we have to convert 2.5 kgs to grams. Now, how do we convert from kgs to grams? How do we convert from kilograms to grams? 
When you're going from a big unit to a small unit, you multiply. So we have to multiply by 1,000. What do you do when you're multiplying by 1,000? You can shift your decimal point three times to the right. If we were dividing, we would have shifted our decimal point three times to the left. So let's shift it. One, add a zero, two, add a zero, three. So we are getting 2,500 grams. And we subtract 1,600 grams for that. We are getting a difference of 900. Let's work it out. Five can of subtract six, so we need to regroup. 15 take away six is nine. So the answer is 900 grams. The understanding at O, this point here, and she's facing northwest. She makes quarter turns and is now facing southeast. What is the least number of quarter turns made? Now, as you can see, take from here to here is a half turn. So that means that she made two quarter turns, one here and another here. So the answer will be two quarter turns. The vertices are there in the solid shown below. So the shape was drawn. This is a triangular prism, and we can check the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is six. Draw all lines of symmetry on the shape below. This shape has two lines of symmetry. This is one, and this is the next one. So it has two lines of symmetry, and this is how your drawing should look. Question 18. The mean of three numbers is 12. Two of the numbers are 10 and 14. What is the third number? Let's set up this question. Now, if you have trouble with mean, I have a video explaining all the possible ways a mean question can come. You can check that out. So the mean of three numbers is 12. They gave us two of the numbers. So 10 plus 11 plus another number. It's three numbers. And they told us the mean is 12. So now that we have this, it's going to be easy for us to figure out what the missing number is. Now to get the sum of all the numbers, we can multiply. 12 threes are 36. So if the sum is 36, then we can add 10 and 11, and that will give us 21. And we need to subtract 21 from 36, and we will get 15. Question 19 says, the tally chart below shows the types of gifts students received. Students received bicycles, books, cell phones, and tablets. So for bicycles, we have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Books, you have six. Cell phones, we have five, 10, 15, 16, 17. For tablets, we have five, 10, 15. So the question wants to know which gift represents the mode. The gift that represents the mode is cell phones. So you have to write cell phones as your answer. Pictograph below shows the color of students' book bags. We have red, we have black, we have blue, we have brown. Now the question did not give you the key. They did not tell you how much one smiley face is equal to. But the question said, if 32 of the book bags are black, how many are blue? Well, if 32 of the book bags are black, how much smiley faces do we have here? We have four smiley faces, and this is a total of 32. So to know how much one smiley face represents, then we need to divide 32 by four. Four into 32 is eight. So that means one smiley face represents eight. And now that we know that, we can determine how much are blue. We have three smiley faces. So three times eight is 24. So we have 32 black. We have 24 blue. And that's what the question asks us. But how much will be brown? Eight twos are 16. How much will be red? Eight. Okay. But the question only asks us how many are blue. So the answer is 24. And this is the end of section one. Be sure to subscribe and follow to see section two.